Murphy into the pocket. Time for Rankin. He doesn't need much. He'll find it anywhere. He'll find a way through. Let the dance begin with Isaac Rankin. After that type of imbalance, his ability to rebalance and then kick truly, bang, three steps and he's balanced again and knows exactly what he's doing. Spot on to him. If he doesn't stick out that arm, he definitely gets tackled from Burns, who chased well. Just brings such excitement to the game. Super consistent player he's had in the last four seasons. Podium finishes in the best inference. Oh, it's out of there! What about that, Joe? There we go. I don't think it's a, until the last step. I don't think he was intending to have a shot at goal, but couldn't help himself at the end. If you were talking to someone who'd never seen Joe Danaher play before, part of the talking point last week, they evacuated at three-quarter time. Hopefully they can stay tonight. Chera did pretty well. Got a kick out of there. Hewitt. This is line ball. The dogs are going to touch it. Otherwise! Otherwise! It's another Carlton goal! Pressure now in the Western Bulldogs defenders. So all of a sudden the gaps are closing down more. Better defensively, Carlton. T's distance has been good. They've been able to quickly react. They're now energised again. Yeah, when you, when you kick one goal in 70-odd minutes and then you kick three in 10, yeah, that's going to energise you. So, yeah, these smalls have got to work. They've been able to give, a, to give their forwards great supply. Penelio, Kelly, Ash, Green, a smother. Ash goes with a fist, didn't quite work. Side bottom, crisp. Options are plenty. Bobby Hill, oh. he couldn't, could he? You are kidding me. <laughs> How's that for an opener from the X Giant? Look at this, that forward hand pass. You're right, so he's he's done the unselfish thing. He's looked inside, yep. and there was no Giants defender that was covering, covering the goal line. So the pressure applied, the forward handball, the execution of skills. None of those handballs went to ground. And that's what they do. If you turn the ball over in that radius, in that 20 to 30 metre radius, they just have an abundance of numbers and the ability to chain out of it. You can see there, nothing on inside. The item that could have been, he could have left his direct opponent, Elliot, and covered the goal line. Sent his way by Durham. Did well to scramble and kick forward. And Anthony McDonald, Tipper Wood is there. Tries to turn McKenna inside out. Beautifully done from Tipper. Here come the Bombers again. Langford, good use of the body. Gets hold of the Sharon. Snaps around the corner. And the Bombers have got back to back goals and they're in front. One thing Essen are doing well. They've been pretty good in the clearances and pretty good in the contested possession. So they're coming up with a footy. I mean, that was just kind of like your genuine read the ball better off hands and then kick the goal from. Uh... Yeah. You've got to have more characters in the game. He's one of them. Tracy! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Think of that is a serious grab. Cats forward 50, Hawkins out the back to Tui. He was on the move. It was a setup. There's no doubt about it at all. And it almost came off. Now Isaac Smith on his left and he's got it. The Tigers let another one go. What I liked here, Richo, was just the composure from Dempsey, realising that he's probably on a stronger player than Rioli, but kept the ball in front of him and then had the smarts to wait for Isaac Smith to get him. They have a couple of goals against them already. Wits with the height, able to control it. Sheet lost it, Swallow, Rao busting through, snapping to goal. That's what Matt Rao can do in the midfield. A clearance beast. I mean, they've been playing the game in their front half the last five minutes. Uh, Gold Coast, here's a nice little block. He ends up by himself. Where you just see the West Coast midfielders get a, a little bit lost in traffic. Duggan just falls off him in the end, and it's an easy snap. Uh, we know how good they are in around the stoppages, Gold Coast. And, gee, they've started well tonight, not only at the stoppage, but keeping the ball in their forward half, repeat entry after repeat entry. Flynn, Cox, kept his feet, just Play pulled on. it back in. Topo, as you heard. Uh, Halloran heads long and he bends it and bends it enough. It's through. We see him there just at the top of screen. So his direct opponent was Dacos on that occasion. Dacos went one way, O'Halloran went the other. So sometimes it's, it's important to, when the ball is in dispute, to, to, to defend in a, in a really important part of the ground. But that is a classy finish. 
He's been a goal kicker this year. Incredible when you come with intent from a Hawthorne footy club point of view. Weddle also hasn't kicked a career goal. Drives it long and deep. I'll oh, get on board. <laughs> First goal for Weddle. And the Hawks with a couple of youngsters get rolling. Can the Premiership skipper get the crowd behind him? And it's more of a centering ball to his mate Grundy. Perfect set play by the Demons. Set play. Yeah, take that as a, um, a score involvement. Um, 10 to 1. So that's, these numbers continue just to get bigger and bigger. And as you said, Jace, uh, just... North Spurpen got a fist on it, then gathered his own crumb. Gave it to Paul Curtis. He thought about the feed, then the fend-off, then hits the what goal and kicks a ripper. Paul Curtis, highlight of the afternoon for North. And then that from Curtis. A bit of energy here for the Kangaroos. He worked this out on the run, Curtis, which I really liked. Bit of a fake there, push off, don't argue. No, hands it off to Houston. Back to Jonas. Might have a crack now. Off the stand start, one step. Got it. He <laughs> has got it there. Tom Jonas, second goal of his career. Ripping kick in the end. You see the 50 there and just crept over the mark. Greenwood. Well, that certainly hurts. He gets it. It's a one, two. He's got an extra stat as well. Now, those backmen, they don't. Busy in the clearance again, but pumped forward by the Tigers. Pressed here in game number 200. Just some good uh, pressure there. Cats have had the advantage around the stop. He just get it to ground and pressed here. Kicked three goals in about five minutes last week. Still a chance to redeem himself. Not that it was that easy. They might get a goal anyway. Butler snaffles it. This is just, yeah, there you go, that one there is done. Chance there. So tackle, it's a real grubby ball just getting around the base and then the pack there and tackle. One last chance. Heaney, who's at ground level, he might do it himself. Rides the bump, shrugs the tackle, snaps on the left. That's the momentum they need going into the break. Try to lift his side. As Williams was able to outpoint wits that time. Kelly and Rao. Kelly flicked it up. Clark. Now Petrocelli will use that speed to just turn and burn inside 50. Quick as a flash goes Jack. And they had to really fight here, the West Coast Eagles. And they won the fight on this occasion. It pushes out to the wing. Both wingmen holding their width on the contest. Kelly to Clark over the top. Petrocelli out. They go. And you can see Gold Coast going back with their direct opponents instead of coming up earlier to close the space of Petrocelli running inside forward 50. Great block as well, wasn't it, from Clark? Smith. Crowd screaming every contest. Jones. Arnie Jones has kicked it! Good goal. Tackle against Wiedering early this quarter, but it just got to the front and centre, and the ball was able to spill perfectly for him. But then Saad put great pressure on.